another Amazon order. <laughs> Uni belts. Good morning guys and welcome to moving vlog number two. If you guys haven't already seen moving vlog number one then I will of course leave that one linked down below so definitely go and check it out after today's vlog. So I'm currently standing in our spare room right now which is currently pretty bare apart from some office-y stuff which is kind of boring um, and we are very excited for our first full day in the apartment today. So on the agenda we need to go food shopping because obviously our cupboards, fridge, freezer, everything is very bare right now. Now. So we need to go and do that and then we're also probably going to stop by a Dunelm or a home sense or something and grab some last little bits. But apart from that, we haven't really got a plan completely set in stone. We're just going to kind of see where the day takes us and take you guys along with us. I do think we are going to kind of check out our surroundings, get used to the area. And we have also just discovered there's a really nice country park really nearby. So I think we'll probably check that out towards the end of the day. Yeah, and just kind of see what happens and enjoy our first full day here in the apartment. Maybe this is heaven, maybe that's just you. I don't trust my judgment cause I'm just 22. When my just run in circles, my heart is out in the rain. I know that this is sudden, but do you feel the same? room at the moment and um, where I am right now is where we will have our sofa bed um, because we've decided that we don't want to permanently have a double bed in this spare room taking up loads of space when it's actually quite a nice space and we like having it kind of free but then we also want to have the option that people can stay over because we can pull that sofa bed out make them a bed for when they want to stay and then close it up and have our space so this is where the sofa bed will be I know you can't really tell where I am in the room or anything but this is where it will be, but for now, I'm on the floor. So for bed shopping is our next sort of thing on the list. We have been doing so much research, so much looking online and everything, but I just think a sofa bed is something you need to buy in person because we've got all our measurements and everything, but we look online and we're like, okay, that looks nice, but what if it arrives and we're like, actually, it's not quite how it looked or it's not what we thought it was. So we've decided to leave that sort of in person as well as going to sainsbury's and doing our big food shop we also went to dunelm <laughs> got this big bag of stuff from dunelm which i just kind of wanted to quickly just do a mini haul and just show you what we managed to get i feel like dunelm is something that is sometimes like forgotten about but my mum loves dunelm so when she found out we were moving she was like don't forget to check dunelm so first of all coat hangers we have one fitted wardrobe in the spare room and one in the main bedroom so doug and i we kind of ran out of coat hangers so we needed to grab some more of those then i think these are all our glasses wrapped up so these are the glasses we decided to go for in our kitchen we really like the kind of shape of them because although they are plain complete plain glass with no pattern because that's kind of what we wanted. We also didn't want them to be completely boring. So we really like these ones because they've got the nice little sort of shape to them. So we picked up initially six of them, which we ordered online and they came. But just when things are in the dishwasher or if we have anybody over, it's good to have as many as possible. And uh, we like to have everything matching. So we picked up two more of those. So now we've got eight, um, which is good. And then I don't know which one is the other one because Doug also picked up some... Yeah, so Doug also picked up some beer glasses, which are these ones, nothing too much to say, just typical beer glass. We got two of those as well. Both glasses were 60p, which I think is pretty, pretty good to be fair. So then got another beer one and another normal. It's nice, I think, to have, you know, your beer glasses, your wine glasses, gin glasses, whatever, and just have your different things. Yeah, we want to kind of fill up our bar. So when friends come over, if they do want to have a drink, we can be like, Here's our bar, what do you want? We're both people that like to cater and sort of entertain. But yeah, well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> then the next thing we picked up is these. So I got one in this size and one in that size. So that's like a half size of that one. And basically they're little um, 
containers I guess that you can store food in but I really like these ones because I don't know if you can see but they've got a little push top so you push the top out and then you're able to take the lid off I don't know if you're going to be able to see but the seal once you push this down completely tightens up and then these are completely airtight now I think we'll probably have maybe this one for pasta this one might end up being for nuts or something our cupboards are looking a little bit messy and obviously I didn't expect to move in and have them completely pristine and in, in order within a week but um we definitely just need some sort of like containers like this and maybe a few little shelves or something just to really help everything stay in order and also maximize the space a bit so I picked up two of these just to see how I feel put them in the cupboard see if we need some more if we really like them and everything um so yeah I'm gonna put some food in these in a second and then I think one's the literal last thing yeah so it was not a huge haul guys but I also just picked up this water bottle um just it's like one of those ones that looks like a Chili's water bottle but from Dunelm I just forgot to bring a water bottle with me while I was in Dunelm I just thought I'd pick this one up I just went for black goes with everything and it actually can be used for hot or cold, which is good. It stays, stays cold for 24 hours and stays hot for 12 hours. That's pretty good, to be fair. I definitely have to give that a check. So that is our whole Darnell shop. Um, I'm going to go and sort of sort out our cupboards now and, and put some things in these and show you. I feel like so much of my filming has, has been done in the kitchen so far. Um, it's one of my favourite spaces, though. Oh. I literally love our kitchen and I can't wait to do the full tour and show you everything. I mean, that's why filming these moving vlogs is super hard because I want to show you everything, but I also don't want to give too much away. I'm not trying to like keep you in suspense, but I just think it'd be better to do a full tour when everything is how I want it to be because I don't want to be like, oh, we have this and we have that. And then all of a sudden it just changes. So that's not how it ends up looking because this will not look like this, you know, in about a week's time. So yeah. I'm trying not to give too much away, but also there are things I just really want to show you guys. So let's get back into the kitchen. Doug is watching footy, um, so he might be in the background, um, but yeah. So this cupboard here is where we keep our glasses. So in the top there, we've got our wine glasses, which were also from Dunelm. Um, I really like these ones. I just love the shape. So we've got a four set of those. And then just down here, these are the glasses I was telling you about. I think some, are in the dishwasher and stuff so yeah the glasses cupboard is looking a little bit empty but we still need to get things like probably like some gin glasses some whiskey glasses and maybe some more wine but yeah i did those ones for now and then this is the cupboard where our pasta and stuff is so i don't even know what the name of this cupboard is because it's kind of got our naughty stuff on this side so we've got some chocolate bars and some crisps then we've also got our cereal bars rice and pasta some peanuts in here and then at the top here i've just got some juice because i literally did not know where to put my juice the spare pasta that couldn't fit in this pot and um, some noodles and then we've got coffee sugar and tea just up there at the moment because we haven't got any of those pots to go on the side yet that say like tea coffee and sugar because we just couldn't find any that we liked yet or that fitted in with this kind of theme but when we do get them they'll probably go here somewhere maybe near the kettle i really love our kitchen um hopefully you guys do as well can't wait for it all to be fully together so we can show you another day another amazon order i think it's gonna be a little holder for my coffee pods for my dolce gusto coffee machine this is the one I decided to go for. So it's just, there were bigger ones actually. I don't know if you can see, this has got four sections. There were some that had six. But to be honest, I just thought I'd go for this one because I didn't want one that was too big. Um, but yeah, I wanted one definitely that revolves because I really like that. So now I've got the mission of putting all my pods into this and I have a lot of pods. So here is the holder, guys. I've put it next to the coffee machine and I've just put one load of pods in for the moment just to check that it all worked and I liked it and I absolutely love it. It's really, really nice, it's revolving, and then when you take the bottom one out, the next one automatically falls in, which is really, really cool. So I think these ones are the Cafe Olay pods, so I've got those ones in there now. And then the other ones I've got in this cupboard are Chococino and Cappuccino. So I'll fill it up with those ones now as well, so I can get it completely full and get some of these out of the cupboard. Um, and then I'll show you once I've got those ones in as well. Do you feel the same? Do you feel the same? Do you feel the I can't make my mind up, I don't know what to do I'm trying to be honest, see all the point of views Hello guys!
guys and welcome to Hannah and Doug exploring our neighbourhood. <laughs> we are out for a nice little walk now. We're hoping to kind of explore our community where we live and check out the country park. Yeah. And just um heard good things about it. So. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit windy, but it's actually not that cold, is it? No. It's, it's quite nice. warm, which is nice. Just to give you a little kind of update on the area that we live in. So Doug and I actually live in we don't really know what the right word for it is, but I think it's, it's like, like an estate. An estate like a residential community um so they're all new like builds yeah i know it's, it does it sounds <laughs> like an old people's job. like area it's not uh, yeah i just we don't know the right word for it. a complex a community i'm not really sure yeah, but it's a new development, it's a new development basically of, of apartments and houses so they're all new builds um and we all live in like a little community yeah there's just like everything for us and our little community has like a name um yeah so it's super nice also it's a lovely lovely community because it's all new build all really spacious and nice um so yeah that's kind of what we're just kind of finding our way around because it's a bit of a maze we think we just found the perfect place to film a horror movie <laughs> yeah. we're literally the only ones here. we are literally the only ones here i feel like this is like a forest that's next to the country park um yeah. but there's no one else it looks a bit abandoned we found a sign that says public bridal way so at least we know we're not trespassing it's really nice it's so peaceful it's so quiet we literally haven't come across anybody else um and yeah hopefully we don't get lost <laughs> guys we found the country park but if you're thinking not to take i'd rather have the truth the start of love is fake and baby tell me back home now it's actually kind of late i think it's roughly 8 39 um we ended up walking for quite some time and i just ended up stopping filming because it kind of the sunset and it got a little bit dark actually sat in our bedroom at the moment a room that i don't really think i've shown you guys at all um this is our bed we have a lovely at king size bed i love our bed um but yeah i think i'll kind of show you more when i show you our full apartment tour so there will be one more moving vlog next week, um, which will be jam-packed as we are going to Ikea. We should hopefully be getting our sofa bed, which I spoke about at the start of the video. So there'll probably be content to do with all of that. Um, and us building the bed and just finishing up final touches before we get to show you the full apartment tour. So definitely stay tuned for next week's video and don't forget to give this one a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also hit that red subscribe button down below so you can catch up with the rest of my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!